More than 343 American firefighters were killed in the September 11th terror attacks. ABC 17 Zach Boetto sat down with the Department Chief of Columbia Fire to find out how the fire industry has changed as a result. Yeah, I remember vividly. I was actually a, a training officer at a previous fire department, and uh, I remember even thinking then, I, I had just stepped inside the day room with a, with a class of recruits, and I remember thinking then, immediately, do you know how many firefighters just, just died? Columbia Fire Department Chief Andy Woody was in his 20s in 2001 when the Twin Towers fell. He was a firefighter then and has been one ever since. Woody says the events that took place that day changed the firefighting industry forever. It was, it was a 180 for the fire service. It was really a, a, a sad time, but like all of the other things that we take on as an industry, no different than, than COVID, we learn as much as we can from it, study as much as we can from it. We train on it, we equip ourselves and train on it so that we're able to deal with it. And at the end, emerge better, ready to, you know, ready to, to take on a new role and, and, and protect the public better than we ever have. That's exactly what, what happened then and it continues to happen every single day now. 9-11 helped improve the way firefighters prepare, communicate, and respond to emergency disasters by unifying an incident command system, allowing multiple agencies to seamlessly communicate with a similar lingo. It also helps shed light on hazmat response, building structure, and firefighter health. Woody says he and his fellow firefighters will never forget that day, and the lessons from 9-11 will be passed on to the next generation. I'm a, I'm a proud firefighter. We've, we've done good. We've, we've done a good job honoring the legacy, not only of the 343 that day, but of all of our brothers and sisters that have made the sacrifices throughout the last 20 years, including yesterday, to, to, to honor them by, by learning ways that we can keep it from happening here. So proud of the fire service is an understatement. Reporting for the ABC 17 News Team, Zach Boetto.